Hi, this is Brandon Donaldson, and this is Build It With Brandon, and I want to follow up with the mistakes I did on the AIY Vision Kit. So I want to share those with you so maybe you don't have to make those same mistakes that I did when I built this in the first episode. Now I'll have a link to the first episode of this uh, AIY Build It session. I'll link that below in the de video description. And what I want to cover is the very first thing that I made a mistake was, was I used a recycled power supply. And this bad boy, it was a one amper, and I need 2.1 amps. And you'll see that in the, the documents or the guide to building this AIY Vision Kit that it needs a 2.1 amp or greater. And the reason why I say that is I made a bad mistake and it caused my Vision Kit to fail. So I had to take it back to Target and get a new one. So I didn't like doing that. I felt a little bit bad. So I'm trying to teach you so you don't have to do the same thing that I did. So that's the number one. Besides, there's other, uh, you know, works to start out with. And I didn't see the effect until later when I started programming and I came back and it was just dead. So the number two one was when I was building it, I, you, you can probably see this privacy LED. It's on now, but when I built it, it wasn't on. And the piezo uh, buzzer did not work. So, and the reason why, there's two wires, one from the privacy LED and piezo, that go into the back of the button. And they have the exact same connector. But what I, what I failed to see is on the connector, or on the bottom of the button, there was the labels that were in small fine print. And maybe I need reading glasses, but I didn't see that or I just didn't notice it at the time when I was building it they look the same. But um, if you don't hear sound or you don't see the light, it's likely those are reversed. So just look at that board and compare and then direct, put, plug in the correct wires there, the cables into the board. So then you can hear the sound like when I take a picture, geez, you can hear the beeping from the piezo. Okay, or piezo. You know, I, I'll probably have to say that a little better. Okay, so the next thing I did was I, I actually took this uh, memory card, if you can see the memory card here, I took it and I put it into the adapter of my computer and I have a little dongle adapter and I put it in the wrong way and the thing was is it, the bezel of that, uh, the memory card, the micro SD got caught in the adapter so then I thought well I'm going to get pliers and try yanking it out and what happened was is that I broke the memory card with the pliers so that was a big no-no. I struck out on that one um, pretty badly because I had to get a new memory card as well. So I learned right off the bat, don't use mechanical pliers to pull memory card out because you might bend it and break it. It doesn't take much. So the next thing I had was is I had this tripod and it's of course metal. And if you look at the bottom, there's a tripod connector and I screwed it in there and I screwed it in too far. And if you notice, there isn't much room between the, the motherboard and the base of the tripod. So just don't screw it in too far. You just screw it in to hook the threads in. And what happens is, is if you screw it in too far, it rests on the motherboard and the solder connections touch and short short out the motherboard. Now I originally thought that was the problem and maybe it was, but I think the power supply was the reason why my thing failed and, and not the tripod. The tripods are kind of nice because you can basically connect it like so and rest it there. And so let me just do that. It's kind of a cool feature. I don't want to go too far. So there it is. Now I have a tripod with my um, AIY vision kit. So that works out great. So then, um, okay, what was the other thing? Oh, when I, I installed the software or when I booted it up with the monitor, mouse, and keyboard, it comes up with a dialog that says, do you want to auto update? And I chose yes. Well, nothing functioned correctly after the auto update. And what I found was, is I had to reflash the system image on the micro SD card and once I did that, it worked properly. So there was a bug in the 
um, driver because when the auto update that is a Debian update, um, a flavor of Raspberry Pi, uh, so what happened there is I found that the fix was, or what happened was the micro SD, or what happened was the update did not work with the current version of the software, 11.16. So it may be fixed by the time you watch this. So just, you know, what you do is try the update. If it doesn't work, reflash the micro SD card. It's simple. And I'll leave a link to the upgrade or reflashing the uh, system image on the card. And by the way, if you make any mistakes when you're operating this, when you're programming this, when you do anything to the programming and you make a mistake, just reflash it. It's really simple to reset back to a working stable system image and it'll get you working and going. Okay, so that's, that's it. So I made quite a few mistakes. I destroyed the unit, um, and, but at the end of the day, I found out what doesn't work and I'm sharing that with you today so I'm hoping you don't have to make those mistakes but those I think are the pretty much the major mistakes anything else is software related and those are easy fix um, by the way I'm gonna be making a couple more videos on on how to edit and how to uh, chase squirrels away and you keep your eyes peeled what you want to do is subscribe for the updates and if you want, just hit like button down there. You don't have to, but if you hit like, that fuels my gas tank and I'll make more videos, tutorials, and I hope to see you in the next episode. So thanks for watching today. Follow me, follow me for more tips and tricks and I'll catch you in the next episode. Thanks for watching.